Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring to you and analyze the biggest sentiment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I have my co-anchors with me, Ife Omai and Ife Oluwa What up? What's Hello. good? Why is she laughing? <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going, guys? Good, good. Weekend is drawing Holding in. the fort, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's Thursday already. Yeah. Oh. You think the week went by fast? Yeah, yeah, way fast. Mm. Mm. I, mean, it I like it. Slow, yeah. I like it. Okay. And the year is almost coming to an end. That, mm. that is true. I saw someone tweet, um, it's 12 weeks to December. I was like, no, it's not true. I remember to check. I'm like, fam, it's really less than 12 weeks or 12 weeks to December. Oh, wow. Like, you know, you, when you have this friends, be going, man. you know, you have some friends that they are planning your birthday ahead for you. Mm -hmm. So somebody called me like two days ago. I was like, ah, your birthday did come soon. You may have not realized. When's your birthday? December. December. Mm. So like really, so what is it? Explains a lot. You're a jai jai boy from birth. Oh okay. Now from birth, um, they put you in celebration. Abiodun. Abiodun. Is that your name? No. Are you sure? Well, Abiodun is twenty fifth. Um, people they. So what name did they give you that that shows that you were born in December? Odwayo. Odwayo. Oh. Mm. Okay. Nice. We should call you a dry on the show. Yeah, that's my middle name actually. Really? Yeah. 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 Odwayo. Well. Well. Okay. Everywhere. No my. Mm. He has given us tea. Mm. So, mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's move on. Um, actress Shanjot gets engaged. The 50-year-old grandmother took to her Instagram page to announce the good news and showed off her engagement ring. Her caption read, and I quote, As scared and skeptical as I have been all these past years, based on unfavorable past experiences, this one seemed to be just too right to be afraid of or to hide. So I said, Yes. To my best friend, my brother, partner, business associate, um, fellow cross Riverian, my ride or die since 1800, my available shoulder to cry on always. Let's try again this one last time. It's never too late. Yes, I love you too. End of quotes. Love is a beautiful People thing. People are married like four times and I've not seen one. This is life. What's no balance. It's not balance at all, I God. Why did you create but, this um, like I this? I don't think um, that comparison should be your prayer because um, <laughs> if people try like four times and they have failed, so maybe when you find that one, it may just stick. Mm. Well, I know that's what a lot of people would say, but so personally, okay. personally, I feel like regardless, life will always show you with things mm. bad good, it's how you and all that. but i feel like shan george has lived her life on her own mm. time mm -hmm. that's how i feel about mm. her and her journey mm. and it's not a lot of people that will come out of the first second third and still want to try again and not care about what society wants or expects of you or thinking that are you sure you are not the cost one mm. why are you the one breaking up and getting married so i feel mm. like I, I like her strength i like her tenacity i like the fact that she just wants to live her life and she's mm. living her life mm. based on her own terms so if you don't like it it is your business yeah. one last time let's see how it goes mm. but i wish her the best of luck and um i like the fact that she tried to explain her relationship with this new found love right mm. like somebody that she has known for, for a, a very while long time. and then people and it feels like they've tried before from what she said, let's try again. No, no, I think she let's try getting married again one last time. That is, she's done For three herself. failed, and okay. this is the fourth one. So it's not about maybe the, guy. the final, so okay, it's not okay. about the guy. Um, but um, one thing I'm glad about is that um, a lot of people will tell you that it's better to marry your best friend, mm. someone you know in and out. You know their flaws, you know their weaknesses, you know their strength, you know the things you can take. But you know, marriage is a different ball game entirely. There mm -hmm. are things that will get into it and then you stop seeing them as friends and you see them or you expect way more. So I hope in most relationships, what I pray is that keep it as friendship still. Mm. Don't put the too much extra on it. I agree to what you guys were saying. For me, I, I think this for me was really encouraging because I'm under the impression that here especially in, in that age group and older, it is almost modest not to go back into, into love. Marriage. Mm. Yeah, into mm -hmm. marriage. It's almost like the strength or like, mm. you know, it's, it, it shows more character and everything. Like, what else do you want to do? Yeah, um, I don't really like that. I want to even 
uh, sell my mom on Tinder, but <laughs> she not And agree. that's why you begin to understand that they don't. A lot of people don't understand that marriage is about companionship, yeah. not just about reproduction. Yeah, I would. I would like to see more people because I know quite whatever. a lot of people in my life that are single parents, and a lot of them made decisions that were they were not necessarily the most equipped when they were doing that. And I guess you can just say it's bad luck or whatever. And mm. I know that you know they work. still have it in them to necessarily you know to go back into the game and all that type of stuff, but they don't want to because they think. It's the modest thing to do. Mm -hmm. I remember one time my mom was even saying that. Oh, that I said, "Mom, are you? Would you, you know, imagine like dating somebody else?" Because she's a single parent as well. And I said, "Ah, no, that I have my children." I said, "Please, though, you don't have me. Me once, like <laughs> once they marry, I'm gone." Disclaimer. Like, eh, go, please. And I, you know, I always try to encourage that. So I feel like this for me was a lot more encouraging. Mm -hmm. That yeah, go for it, girl. Live your life. If, and even if this doesn't work again, and you find somebody else. Engage the person, Bam. enjoy your life till your last breath. Like, yeah. it's only one life. Like, me, I like the vibe, Sha. I don't know. Yeah, On a lighter I note, I just hope the engagement Sha rings Dutch. are expensive, so in case it doesn't work out, hey. you know? Mm -hmm. yeah, wow. Wow. On a lighter okay. note, see, please, that's 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 just know what she's thinking about. Well, I'm just saying, on a lighter she's note. Fine. She's fine. I'm very living. Yeah. Yeah. It's too much, she's Lucifer. Just... Don't mind me. Candy morning stuff. <laughs> <laughs> okay, moving on to the next story for conversation. See what Savage says she almost quit music after backlash from Love Me, Love Me, Love Me, Love Me. I had to sing it, yeah. In an interview with New York Times, she said the video for Love Me, Love Me was banned by National Broadcasting Commission in Nigeria. And as a result, some of her performances at the time were cancelled. She went on to say she was inspired to come back by girls who constantly slid into her DM to tell her they love her tattoo and piercings. Mm. I see as a reservations on this. So and the reservation I've decided not to talk about. Like I don't want to be seen as woman bashing woman, but please <laughs> go ahead. Yeah, I don't, you have, talk about I, I don't have the energy angle, today, so I beg. Uh -uh. I remember though that there was that backlash. I remember there was a song after that where she wore brown. Mm -hmm. Um, and she was on the floor. I don't know if No, you know. that's she has gone past that stage. I think that was when she I think she just got married or something. That she was really sexy in that video. Okay, that was, that's I, I, a I remember backlash. that came after yeah. mm -hmm. Love Me, Love Me. Like it progressed and it got worse and mm. worse and worse. Mm. For me, oh, that's what I remember. And that's what she said now. She yeah, said she made the skirt shorter. That, mm. That's what I'm saying that it made sense when I read this because I remember clearly experiencing and remembering that. I'm part of those girls, so let me not lie to you. I'm part of those girls that was very inspired by that because I like I like liberation, whatever that looks like. Doesn't mean I don't have a tattoo and I'm I'm, I'm not interested, but I like women men for whatever cause it is that you decide that you want to pick and that you do it with a lot of liberation when there is, especially when there's backlash so for me um she had me at that she had me at the fact that you know she was she didn't care what people thought and still you know wanted to express herself however she felt um she wanted to do that to me yes that is ins inspiring another thing i took is that sometimes i can be in my head a little bit and i'm sure i'm not the only person where you're, you're feeling like well, people actually like this part of myself and then you realize that whatever it is that you are doing there's a fan for that there's a target yeah. there's a there's a there's target people for that. you that would dig that um and so you know there's really no need to you know pretend to yourself or kind of like restrict yourself and just honestly just live your life so i'm glad that she opened her dms that she could see all those things um, that inspired her to go back to music because I, I feel like she's done quite good for well for herself for the most part. Mm. All right, so this takes me back to profiling and um, people judging you for you based on your appearance, you know, prejudice against you without even getting to know you. Mm. You know, a lot of people see people with tattoos or people with piercings or and all that and already they have a certain expectation from you like they think when they tell you oh, that's all they hear empty barrel mm -hmm. but then when you open your mouth to speak they'll be like they get impressed so i think it takes us back to the police force so apart from tiwa savage now you see stars of rising people because they're on dreadlocks and a lot of them are gainfully employed but mm -hmm. you don't even know where they're going but because they're on dreadlocks because they have tattoos you're profiling so i like what tiwa savage did because there are still people who are in that same condition who are on which and who are not necessarily irresponsible mm. but because of what they look like people are beginning to talk and this is a very talented woman you mm. can't take away her talent so the fact that she wants to project herself and we all know that sex sells mm. especially in the entertainment industry mm. so if your look is going to make you sell sister go for it don't listen is that to what like any... compliments or an insults i'm not even sure anymore. what 
Is, is that a compliment? Which of them? The, what you said that sex sales, and that's why she. Well, sex sales, though. Yeah, no, but sex it, sales. So, to to what Savage revealing herself like that, is that was that a compliment? I think it? that's part of her craft. No, that's part right, of the craft right. because right. even the type of song, Kele Kele Love, Kele Love. That's part love. of her craft. I mean, if, if you watch her clothes, you realize that the the sexiness and revealing whatever is evolving. Imagine her singing as. As the year goes yeah. by, so imagine her singing. And she's revealing more love. anyway mm. as time goes. Imagine by. her singing "Love Me, Love Me, Love" in the room, Baba. <laughs> it can't be in the room, Baba. <laughs> and I think she can also saying. execute "Love Me, Love Me, Love Me" without going all that of anyway. Course, so of if course, you see uh, this story, it's not my. I agree my, with what you're not saying. That you don't really right have to expose yourself. Of but if that is what works for, for you, you, which is what she has done, don't let people yeah. talk mm. you out of it. I mean, people bash Simi on a daily basis that she doesn't even dress like a celebrity, more or less. But we still love her. And she's still making her money, mm. but I, I, I think doing, doing life or making decisions based on other people's for, um, thoughts is where the problem is. Yeah. So if I'm going to now be modest because that's what is expected of me, but I don't really rate the the value, or I'm not actually down for that lifestyle. I'm just faking. I feel like that's where the problem is. So, mm. do, so you, do what makes you happy. Yeah. Do you? Okay. Tea time continues right after the short break. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I decide them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Now? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do Everybody feeling alright. Make music and people are still by. Some say they look myself minimal. Are you? Mm. Apala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Sleeping early. Sleeping early. <laughs> Welcome back to Still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Dancehall artist Stoneboy has distanced himself from any political party like some people on social media are making it look like. In a Twitter post, he said, and I quote, uh, my attention has been drawn to a three-year-old video of me riding an Okada, which is being publicized as an endorsement for a political party. I dissociate myself from this. Please, I beg, this is not in any way an endorsement for any political party. Hashtag God bless Ghana. I remember that video. That video is a long time it's ago. Old. Yeah. yeah. I was still in Ghana, I suppose, when that video came out. And um, yeah, so it's very old. And the fact that N NDC is saying that they are going to um, implement Okada transportation when they get back into power is why they put this video out there. And in this video, Stoneboy was clearly here saying, Okada is good for the people, Charlie. Traffic is too much. I got to get... I think he was going it's for the vote. It's funny Vodafone. that they say traffic is too much, though. Every time they say that, I'm just like, boy, you need to come, <laughs> you to, need to, come to Lagos and know what traffic is. Traffic, <laughs> Grand traffic is like, go slow. Like, the worst one is, like, when it's moving a bit slow, everyone is complaining. Guess what? Ghana traffic is even, like, on irregular for me because, you know, they move slowly. Yeah. I don't even think they go beyond 40, yeah. 50. Yeah. So, every day, I feel like I'm in, yeah. in tra <laughs> traffic the, the way free. people drive. Like, there's no one on the road. So, okay. um, so, this type of video, putting it out there, you, of course, it's political agenda to just put things out there yeah they're looking for what we sell mm. it's like the they're old, ready to spin anything spin yeah it's like mm. the old koza thing as well when um t um what's it called now whiskey and tiwasabe right. could be seen saying something from an old video that they were mm. just accosted and then you used it for some retreats with koza mm. so this is something similar yeah. to that as well and so it's something I, brand new yeah yeah so I, I like the fact that um stone boy came out to this claim Speak this up. and so yeah. that it won't be like because a lot of people want to milk it like okay you guys have so how much are you going to pay me but it looks like he's a, a he's a political balanced person mm. who is going to support who he wants to support he doesn't care what agenda you put out there because it's also helping him of course he care about the agenda he just doesn't care about the party well, you don't know. It probably this could change. This could spin things in his in his favor if he right. actually wants it to. 
His management could go. If he wanted go. to yeah. be associated to the party. Yeah, mm. it could it could work in his favor. His manager could go to them like, okay, you guys have used this video. You guys. I think it's a bit tacky play? if you are a celebrity, especially a musician, and you associate associate yourself to one party. It can you know shoot you in the mm. leg and stuff. So I, I'm guessing it's also a smart idea. That doesn't necessarily mean that he's not for the party mm -hmm. or like for the person or whatever. It's good, like you mentioned, that he is coming out to clear his name and not allow... Because some people could just milk that idea and associate mm -hmm. themselves and get benefits or whatever. But something new. I mean, we've seen that many times in different ways where people use... It's happened to us on this table. <laughs> It's yeah. happened to us on this table where we just mistakenly mention something and somebody else can take that video or that part and milk it and use it as an advertisement. So, it did happen. Mm, it did happen, yeah? Tell okay. what they happen. <laughs> Our next um, story is supposed to be introduced by Ife with the music, but let's calm down. So Lance allegedly blames drunkenness for Megan Thee Stallion shooting incident in a sorry test. The test um, is reported to have been sent to Megan while she was still in the hospital. Um, it's read, and I quote, I know you probably never go and talk to me again, but I genuinely want you to know I'm sorry from the bottom of my heart. I was too drunk. Nonetheless, um, things happen, um, should never have happened, and I can't change what I did. I just feel horrible because I genuinely just got too drunk. End of course. I think this is the part where Blame Erica it, uh, and um, Tory Lanez need to do come together, yeah. a remix <laughs> of Blame It On The ah, 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 Alcohol because mm. they are both affected by this right now. So, um, yeah, too sad, but it's not an excuse to mm. shoot anybody. We've seen drunk people that would not even drive. At least, they when you're drunk, in. why you need to, they don't have gutter there, fall into the gutter now. Why are you shooting people? <laughs> you know, or sleep in your car, or watch you have bodyguards. Why do you yeah. move around with entourage when you would still why get do you drunk have a at gun the time? you, that's not licensed. Let's talk about that. It's America. Mm. That one would be difficult to talk about. As a about. celebrity <laughs> that you've seen all of your friends, your colleagues go down on that. See, yeah. And sometimes when we want to do, like, it's kind of ironic now because I'm just shouting, do you, do you, in the first story. Sometimes when you are doing you, you have to be aware of the choices that you want to make mm. and the consequences that come after that. I know our, our generation and, like, younger people like this idea of, like, you know, we can do whatever, we're really invisible. And I think that he has that problem. Um, even when he started his music, he came out with Bryson Tiller. And I used to jam to his songs and, his, and I used to follow his personality. Mm -hmm. And I could see that he lost me when he started to get a lot more, I don't say fame drunk or power drunk, I don't know what it is, or money drunk, but he just started getting really callous with how he was and how he, how he interacted with women and all that type of stuff. All this gangsterism. Yeah, all this gangster stuff. It's just getting too much. And it's okay. People can say, do you, you had your fans for that or whatever. But there's consequences to feeling invisible. And I think it's not just alcohol that you're going to blame. I think your mindset as well. Alcohol cannot make you something that you're not. Um, so to I think enhance who you are. Thank you. So mm. I feel like so that's that something that he was. needs to... <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I feel like that's something that you need to really think about. The alcohol apology was too much in there. I feel like you need to own up and take responsibility for your action become more accountable how are you going to actually work on on this you know attitude or mindset that you have and then we can now start talking but either ways what has been done has been done mm, like you said and you know but in this whole back. conversation nobody's still telling us the real tea was tory and megan did mm. Mm, it was speculated yeah. and then um, a they lot need to of give us the full tea please um, I don't Megan. know. I think it's safe to say they Tory. were. Okay. Why? 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 You know? Why? I don't understand. Career Megan, wise or Tory. what wise? wise. Uh, of course, now nah. at all ladies can actually date. Not today. just tall. It might, it's like probably tall in the right areas. Wow. <laughs> okay. I'm um, moving on real quick. <laughs> Cardi B hires private investigator to track down um, Donald Trump's um, supporter who was leaking her address online. She revealed the news to fans during a live Instagram chat, explaining the Trump loving troll urged followers to set her house on fire. She said she hired a private investigator and served them with a warrant to arrest this boy, only to realize that he's a teenager and his parents were shook. Hmm. It's just shocking. <laughs> it shock you. <laughs> <laughs> so the funny thing is, um, I watched the video, mm -hmm. and I think it was well articulated. It was well put together. She made a lot of sense. As um, a celebrity, is what we've been preaching about: that you use your platform correctly, mm -hmm. and you have to use it wisely as well. Now, we're talking about the black community, which an Hispanic community, which she tends to represent, right? And um, these are the most targeted race mm -hmm. in America. 
we have a new victim who was shot seven times in the back, right? Mm. The president hasn't said a word about it. She said it in a video as well. And she sat down with Joe Biden. And for some reason, people think they can come against her. Now, the president is not living up to my race standard. Yeah. Even apart from my race, she's not even living up to standard mm -hmm. at all. Period. Do you understand? And then you think I don't have the right to tell people who to vote for. Yeah. But your president has Twitter fingers mm -hmm. and can go on and mm. influence other people. Mm. No, that's just wrong. So you should let people be free with their choices. The fact yeah. that I'm a celebrity doesn't mean you should tell me who to vote for or who not to vote for or who to tell people to vote for or who not to vote or who to sit with or would not to sit with or yeah. would to grant an interview or not to grant an interview too mm. so i think people just need to let people live freely and express themselves it's freedom the interesting part for me is that this is a teenager but before you come in if you let's go on a very quick break and when we come back we'll carry on this particular conversation Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I see them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Alibaba? Baba? Oh, <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to die, everybody feeling all right. Still make music and people are still buying. Sometimes I they look myself minimal. Are you? music is for mature-minded people. That got DM sometimes from Malawi. Like, sleeping early, sleeping early. Welcome back. So let's get if I take on if you're my take on um Kadibi story. Yeah, I I, yeah. I, I, I like. Um, if what how if I broke it down, I think I've, for now I can say that I'm no longer surprised because at first every time um, um, Cardi. Cardi talks about serious things, I'm always shook because she talks about it so well, mm -hmm. act like so so well for somebody who does WAP and all that type of stuff. So <laughs> I, I I know that she is <laughs> she is um, a lot more you know in depth than I guess mm -hmm. her music or whatever, and I really appreciate that. With the conservatives, I, I, I've noticed that um, Trump's Trump's uh, reign in America has kind of revealed that there are two different types of mindsets in, in America. And sometimes I feel good about it because I used to be under the impression that everyone in America had sense, but that's a lie. Hmm. And they, they have the very backward mentality. And sometimes backward mentalities don't like feeling threatened or don't like feeling like, you, you know, their, 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 their way or their thoughts are, or beliefs are not valid or whatever they always like to feel really threatened so I, I i understand the backlash that she's getting it's not she's not the first or second person or third person but i like her comebacks <laughs> even the comebacks that she's been giving to uh what's the name of that conservative person candace owens no, no. never candace owens someone else i forgot and andrews or something where she said to her that she's dumb and that they need less of of cardi and more of melanin melanin trump which is trump's wife mm. and then she went and found old videos of Trump's wife basically doing her thing when she was younger, which is like, kind of like an escort job. So they were like, I'm confused and stuff like that. So I feel like, you know, she's been quite deep in terms of um, her, her positions on politics. Like she's not just Talking. saying, mm -hmm. yeah, she actually has facts to back that up. Um, this this, this, um, this uh, upcoming election for me is really important, not because I care about, about American politics, but I'll be naive to say that it doesn't influence the rest of the world. Mm -hmm. And I'm hoping that they use this opportunity to honestly remove the, the right person and put in the right person. I like that you said that this whole thing is kind of breaking down that um, idea that everyone in America has sense, mm -hmm. yeah? And for that, I feel like they need to be careful and also look at what all this drama is doing to their children and the next generation. Mm -hmm. Because this person in question, let's not forget, is a teenager mm -hmm. that went as far as trying to inflict mm -hmm. that level of harm Thank on you. somebody like Cardi B. So mm -hmm. what exactly is going on in that space? How are they speaking to their children? What are the conversations they're having in school about politics? And is it, are they beginning to make it feel like it's good to play as dirty as you want to yeah. because of politics, you know? And I'm hoping that that um, everyone can actually sit back to think about it and understand the kind of conversations it's that true. their They're children the only are having in the right world now. that I know that children are carrying guns and shooting their classmates. They're yeah. the only country. So mm -hmm. they need to really look What's into happening? that area. Mm -hmm. There's a problem, but we need to go. 
Yes. All right. Thank you for watching. And please do send your opinions via WhatsApp to 90 or Twitter to us at Plus TV Africa. Remember, you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. Also, watch this time on Outer TV and in London or Ben Television. My thank you as always to go to my co actors If you're on my and if you're on the watch, okay. Thank you. And the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Elsie Godwin. Stay safe. Thank you.